Hey everyone, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I got another beer today. Haven't been able to find much information about it online, but I'm going to hold it up to the camera for you. It's called Konings Haven Quadruple Trappist Ale. It's a 750 milliliter bottle and it is 10%. Uh, I wasn't able to find, once again, much information about this beer at all. I basically found that it was from the Netherlands and there is no website uh, for this beer. If somebody has a website out there, I'd love it if you could let me know so I can uh, post it on the description down below. Uh, it's actually great because now that I got a 750 milliliter bottle, I thought it would be safe for me to bring out my uh, good old friend here. Since the last time I tried to put beer in this, I think it was a 330 milliliter bottle. I basically got to about here, so I, I'm really curious as to how full this is going to get. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching my videos. You know, I've got a couple out there, and people have been giving me pretty positive reviews. Uh, people have had a lot of really good constructive criticism, so I'm basically going to be, you know, taking everything, you know, as it is, and hopefully I can learn along the way and get better. Hopefully my videos won't be ten and a half minutes like some of them have been. Uh, anyway, back to the Trappist Quadruple Ale. Uh, you can tell that it has a cork. I'm going to be looking for some smoke. I haven't had a lot of good luck with uh, smoke out there with you guys. It's coming, it's coming. Alright, it's a good seal. Oh, there we got some smoke finally. Going for the pour. The save. The save. Well, wow, that's a lot of head. That was poured disgustingly, so I apologize. Absolutely. Quite the perfect pour. <laughs> Didn't go over, almost. Fortunately, but unfortunately, you're going to have to bear with me as this head goes away. Uh, one thing I'm going to say, I got this at my local LCBO. Normally, I wouldn't buy a Trappist for, or a Trappist for seven dollars and five cents, but for the sake of these reviews, I figured, you know, I might as well try everything. So, wow. You guys are going to have to bear with me as I get past this head. I'm probably going to have a another Belgian dip on my nose. Not a fan of the head. Doesn't really taste good on its own. I'm getting there. Very, very, very sweet beer. You know, I've never, I'm not really a fan of sweet beers. This is more like a, a sweet, bitter, it's got some fruity taste in there that I can't really pick up. You know, I've been uh, giving some pretty positive reviews lately, but if you're not a big fan of Trappist or Trappist beers. I don't really recommend this beer. <clears throat> uh, it's very bitter, like I'm going to say once again. It's a sweet, bitter beer. And it, it has... Hmm. Uh, I don't really know what to say about this, everybody. I wouldn't recommend it for $7.05. Now... 
it has like a a medium body I'd say way too much head for a for this beer you know the, the other trap piece that I opened up it surprised me too the head just explode everywhere um, Gotta love the shirt. One thing I will say though is you don't really taste ten percent. People laugh at me when I say this because I have a pretty good idea of what an alcohol percentage should taste like in a beer, uh, based on my experience in a, at least a decade now. So. Yeah. Not a fan. I'm sorry, everybody. If you're a fan of Trappist beers, you might as well go out and give it a try just, just for the sake of it. But if you're not really into it, if you want to dive into a, a Trappist and you've never had one before, I uh, I much prefer the other one that I advertised on here. Once again, I do not remember what it is called. Uh, but you can you can check it out. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? It was called the. I think it was called the Oval. Yeah, it was the Oval. That was it. That one that one tasted a lot better than this one. So I don't know. Take it how it is, and uh, let me know what you think. Take it easy.